Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to study about the complication of the GERD and the first complication is esophagitis. The word itself indicates when the lining of esophagus is irritated by acid again and again. So the inflammation of the esophagitis, esophagus takes place also called as esophagitis. Second, we have Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is an adaptation mechanism in which the one cell type changes into the another. Like the squamous epithelium, which is the normal epithelium of the esophagus, changes into the columnar epithelium and it is also called as metaplasia and it is also called as squamocolumnar metaplasia. We have a accumulation of goblet cells due to the accumulation of acid, which is also called as intestinal metaplasia. When this metaplasia prolongs for a longer time, it will lead to dysplasia and later on carcinoma. So it is also called as pre-malignant condition, which is Barrett's esophagus. Third, we have anemic or iron deficiency. Fourth, we have benign esophageal structure. Stricture. Strictures mean narrowing. When the reflux of acid takes place in the stomach, inflammation takes place, which will lead to healing and later on fibrosis. And it will lead to the narrowing of the esophagus and the stricture formation takes place. So the symptoms of these benign stricture is dysphagia of both solid and liquid and odinophagia which is pain while swelling. Diagnosis can be done by endoscopy and the treatment by stunting or long term PPI. Stunting is providing a balloon and inflammation of balloons takes place which will decrease the narrowing. Fifth is gastric valvulus. Gastric valvulus when the massive hiatus hernia is twisted around the esophagus and it will lead to the chest pain and the dysphagia and vomiting and on the chest x-ray you can see the air bubble level in the stomach. The treatment will be spontaneous resolution and if not will provide nasogastric decompression and then surgery. Now we have esophagitis. Esophagitis can be caused by GERD, corrosive esophagitis and other causes. Other causes can be infections like in an immunocompromised patient which have odinophagia. Infections can be distinguished based on the different infections like herpes simplex virus, cytomegalovirus, candida. Herpes simplex virus is punched out ulcer with small, deep, multinucleated giant cell plus intranuclear inclusion and it is present at the margin of the ulcer in the epithelial cell and the treatment is IV cyclovir. Next is cytomegalovirus. It is a linear ulcer which is present in the larger and superficial layer and it is intranuclear intracytoplasmic bodies and the treatment is IV gencyclovir. We have candida which is patchy, grey white appearance, pseudomembranous and the treatment is fluconazole and nystatin. Third, we have corrosive esophagitis. Ford itself indicates corrosion takes place due to the intake of bleach or acid. We have bone or oral mucosa in the pharynx. Endoscopy is contraindicated because it can damage the lining of esophagus and perforation takes place and it can be fatal to the patient which will, because it will lead to the peritonitis and mediastinitis which causes death on the spot. Vomiting indu induction is also contraindicated. Treatment is analgesia and nutritive support. The other reasons of esophagitis can be drugs because we, when we provide potassium supplements, we provide bisphosphonates, we provide NSAIDs. The last topic we have esophilic esophagitis. It is most common in children. As the word itself indicates, it is an infiltration of the esophagus in the lining of esophagus. It is an inflammation, infiltration of the eosinophils in the lining of esophagitis. So diagnosis is endoscopy and the treatment is Proton pump inhibitors is not effective. So we will provide glucocorticoids like bethamethasone, glucocortisone for 8 to 12 hours. And if refractory, we will provide leukotriene antagonists like Montelukast. So this is all we studied about the GERD complication, corrosive esophagitis, esophagitis. We have complications like anemic, Barrett's esophagus, esophagitis, benign esophageal structure, gastric valvulus and eosinophil esophagitis. So thank you. That's it for the video. 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज थैंक यू सो मच